sometimes when you're talking to a person and you think that they're completely together and then you find out that maybe they're crazy. I love that moment. It's so great. That's, a, that's one of those moments that I like to get in the work too. My parents, they wanted me to be an artist. That's all they wanted me to be was an artist. So that's why I got into music because I <laughs> didn't want to didn't want to be what they wanted me to be. And so then I was really heavily involved in the punk scene of the um, late 70s, early 80s Los Angeles. And when you're on stage, you want to drive some sort of reaction from your audience. And so it stayed with me. I couldn't possibly make work that didn't consider an audience and that kind of communication. I never think of my work as as acting and films and all of the terms that people use, I, I just think of it more as moving dreamscapes. I think filmmaking is really a magical, mystical place. When you have a film, you can have all of these counter-opposing emotions, and a lot of times people have said they don't know if they should laugh or cry or feel happy or sad at my movies. And so that's what I really like is a complexity of emotions where you're not quite sure how you're supposed to feel because I wouldn't want to tell anybody how to feel but I would want them to bring something forth from within. But even with the collages I try to create some sort of psychological tension and not tell people what's going on in the image. It's almost like you just got a snapshot of a scene of a play and you're wondering what's going on here. I always think of these monsters as my friends or, or demons that kind of follow me around in the hopes of exercising them out of my psyche. There's a lot of really weird stuff out there, but there's just this point that's almost an eerie, uncanny weirdness that I, I like. I don't think necessarily think of this as a polar bear because it's got a, um, it doesn't have a polar bear shaped face. Uh, it, it's more of a fantasy white bear, something that would come out of the snow in perhaps Sweden. That's how I feel about this bear. Creativity didn't quite flow as much when I was younger. I think that it really takes years in, for, for people to hit their stride. I think a lot of it, because when you're younger, you tend to be more self-critical, and that blocks a lot of really great ideas. And I think as you get older, you realize you really don't have that much time on this earth, and what's the point of being self-critical? You get more fearless when you get older, at least I do.